octave shapes. So octave shapes are the backbone of our curriculum. The whole site is based around this. The cool thing about guitar is that it's not like piano where it's a linear instrument. We have all your low notes and it goes to high notes and you can just see that the C is the white key to the left of every black key. Most people, even really good guitar players, if you say, play me every C on your guitar, they'll go, well, you know, and they, they can't do it, all right? That's not gonna be you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break the guitar down into five shapes. Everything you're gonna learn from the most simple chord to the most crazy acid jazz fusion scale exists in five shapes. If you learn all five, you can learn any song you won't have any easy keys, any hard keys, everything will be the same. It's really important that you really embrace this and get into it because it's the foundation of everything that we're going to do. This is what's known as the caged system. So each shape, you have five patterns, is based on an open chord which you already know. C, A, G, E, and D. Patterns one, two, three, four, and five. So check it out. If you give me a C major chord, right now, you are playing two C's. You're playing the third fret of the fifth string and the first fret of the second string, right? That's pattern one. And again, these are movable shapes. So you want to make it two D's, slide it up. That's pattern one in D. E, F, G, A. So anytime you have a root on the fifth string, you have one on the second string, two frets behind it. Now let's talk about A, pattern two. Give me an A chord. You're playing two A's right now, all right? The open fifth string and the second fret third string. Now, don't let the open string fool you. When you go to move this, so if we go to move it up one fret to A flat, you move your third finger up one fret, and your first finger is now the first fret. It was open, and now it's the first. And again, C, D, E, F. That's pattern two. Your third pattern's based on G. So, G major chord. Right now you're playing three Gs or three octaves. You have the third fret of the sixth string, you have the open third string, and you have the third fret of the first string. Now this one is a little hairy when you go to move it, because it's a three fret stretch. So if I go to, say, play pattern three octave shape in A, I'm gonna move everything up two frets, because A is two frets above G. So these two will go one, two, and then we were playing our open string for G and our first finger is now gonna play that on the second fret of the third string. So this is a pretty big shape. If this is hard for you in the beginning, focus on the third string and then kinda hop back and forth with these two. Just know where they are. And again, B, you know, C, D, easy stuff. All right, um, E. So if you play an E chord, again, three octaves. Open sixth, second fret fourth, open first string, okay? And you go to move this, this is your bar chord shape. For those of you that haven't heard that term before, bar means we literally lay our first finger completely flat across all six strings. So when we go to move this up, say one fret to F, this root goes up one fret, and so our two open strings now are being barred with our first finger to play the first fret. So you have... Last one is D. So if you give me a D chord, pattern five, that's gonna be the open fourth string and a third fret second string. Those are your two Ds in this chord shape. Now again, when you go to move this, you're gonna to have to count for the open string. So make sure that you're using your first finger and pinky because it's a three fret stretch. You always wanna use one finger per fret. All right, so now, what we're gonna do is you know, explain how we use these things. What's the point, all right? So if I said, like before, play me every C on guitar, what you wanna do is you wanna connect the shapes. So let's start with pattern one in C. There's pattern one. Now all these shapes, they connect, meaning that as you go up in pattern numbers, you go to higher parts up on the neck because each of the roots are shared with another pattern. So if you look, Pattern one has a root on the fifth string. Pattern two also does, but you have your first finger there, and then you drop your third finger, and you're playing two frets higher, two strings over, on the third string. 
So what you do, you connect your roots. If I'm in C, you put your first finger where your third finger is, you drop that, that's pattern two. So pattern one C, pattern two. Then into pattern three, you will see that this root is on the third string is also in pattern three. So you put your third, first finger where that finger was, and then you reach for these two. And again, you can bounce back and forth if it's a little hard. Then you look at pattern three, these two, are the same ones you're seeing in pattern four on the sixth and first string where you're barring. Just connecting your root. One more, pattern five. You put your first finger where your third finger is, connect your root, drop your pinky. Don't reach for it with the third finger. And that's pattern five. And one more, after five, it just goes right back to one. So first finger where your pinky is, reach over, and that's pattern one. Same thing here. And then you can continue up, it just repeats and you just played every C on your guitar. So what I want you to do is pick five keys. C, G, A, and a couple random ones, F sharp or B, and I want you to connect your octave shapes forwards and backwards. It's very important to know them forwards and backwards and really get into this. So let me give you an example. Let's pick, oh, let's pick F sharp, why not? So the first thing you gotta ask yourself is, where is an F sharp? All right, so F sharp is the note in between F and G, F, G, wherever you know those are, F sharp. That is on the second fret of the sixth string. So the first thing you ask yourself is, is this my lowest playable octave shape? How do you figure that out? So wherever you found a root, you know that that root is going to exist in two patterns. It's always two patterns. But only one of them is going to be your lowest playable pattern. So if you look at these two, you say to yourself, well, the sixth and first strings, those roots are in pattern three, and they're in pattern four. But it can't be pattern three, because pattern three is a three fret stretch, and that's behind the nut, I won't be able to reach it. So that means my lowest playable octave shape in F sharp is going to be pattern four, starting at the second fret. So that's this, your bar chord. So we're gonna connect them up, connect your roots, pattern five, connect your roots, pattern one, pattern two, Pattern three, again, you kind of bounce around. Pattern four. Now, I could go higher, but just make sure you go through all five and then go back down. So this is four. Make sure you connect your roots. Don't lift your hand up and say, okay, where am I? No, literally, when you pick a finger up, put another one in its spot, all right? So this is pattern two, one, five, four. I like to see you do that in five different keys for the lesson. And again, everything that we're gonna do through this site is based on these five shapes. Getting these five shapes down is gonna unlock the whole fretboard for you. It's really important that you really get into this and you just learn to love these shapes because it's gonna open up everything for you. It's really gonna make playing guitar very, very easy. You're not gonna have, e you're not gonna have hard keys. You know, you're not, songs are all gonna be easy. You're gonna have easy scales, you know, from the, I'm telling you, really, really get into these octave shapes. It will set you free.